current political system raises question on the role of opposition in governance. With the PDP embroiled in a festering leadership tussle, what viral opposition is there for the Buhari APC government led by President Muhammad Buhari? Where are the checks and the balances? And after investigations and reports, how successful has the President Muhammad Buhari anti-corruption war been? What role do anti-graft agencies play? Well, that's our focus on the program tonight. Many thanks for joining in. Everyone, this is Politics Today live on Channel Television. I'm Imana Amara. I'm aware. Remember, you can follow the conversation on Twitter at CTV Politics. You can also watch us live on Facebook. Before we dig deep into issues, let's bring you a quick update on some of the other political stories we've been following here on Channel Television. Well, the Senate has assured that the 2017 budget will be laid before lawmakers next Tuesday, that's on May the 9th, and passed also next week. Deputy Senate President Ike Kuyamadu, who presided over plenary, says Nigerians should not panic over the delayed passage of the budget, insisting that the delay will not affect government business. And I remember that President Muhammad Dubari had on December the 14th presented, 2016 presented a budget of 7.29 trillion naira before the joint session of the National Assembly. And uh, moving on now, an Igbo group, Ohaneze Indigo, has announced that it plans to sue the federal government over discriminating attitude towards the southeast and the south south. The President General of the group, Chief Nnaya Nwodo, said the zones have not been well represented in the Buhari administration and that should be challenged. Let's hear what he had to say. Discriminatory treatment being given to people of the South East and the South South in federal appointments. And we have appointed a committee of senior advocates of Nigeria from Ohaneze states to take the federal government to court about the discriminatory treatment that is given to the people of the South East and the South South. Ohanese on our own are doing the best we can to carry on. We have set up a planning and strategy committee headed by Professor Chukuma Soludo. We have also set up a constitution review committee. And now today, the Supreme Court adjourned until May the 25th to hear a suit filed by the National Chairman of the People's Democratic Party, Senator Ali Modu Sheriff, challenging the competence of an appeal filed by the Senator Ahmed Makafi led caretaker committee of the party. The faction, led by Senator Ahmed Makafi, had approached the Apex Court, challenging the judgment of the appeal in Port Harcourt, which pronounced Senator Sheriff as the chairman of the party. And um, while all of this is going on, the People's Democracy, which is supposed to be the main opposition party in Nigeria, remains almost docile. It brings us to our discussion for the day. Where is the opposition to the APC government of President Muhammad Buhari? It's common knowledge that for democracy to thrive, there must be strong and healthy opposition. Well, let's get straight to our discussion tonight to give us some insight on the issues. Is a legal practitioner, Libra Soshoma. He's also a policy analyst. Thank you for joining us on the program. My pleasure, Lisa. Well, um, you can never undermine the place of a viral opposition Definitely. to the government of the day. Definitely. How can the challenge of the winner-takes-all syndrome, which has plagued us in Nigeria, which has been a major problem, be dealt with? Um, I, I, first and foremost, Nigerians need to know that... Um, they are the ones in opposition. Uh, like um, um, uh, former governor of Jigawa State, uh, Sule Lamido, said recently, um, the elites at the top are united. And so that's why it's easy for them to crisscross from one party to another. And, and, so, and that's why when, um, even at the National Assembly, um, you hardly find, you know, um, them disagree along party lines, except... Um, uh, it's something that affects, you know, their finances, and and that's why you find out that um, even at that level, 
um, it is the, the opposition to the government in power uh, from the National Assembly is usually within the party. And so Nigerians should understand, first and foremost, that uh, they are the ones in opposition. And, and so they should find a way of uh, fas fashioning out a virile opposition and not just to have um, you know, social media activists. Um, political party and political party association should not be left in the hands of um, some people who... Public office holders? Uh, public office holders and people who now label themselves as uh, political actors, politicians. It should... Career politicians. Yes, exactly, career politicians. So we all should find a way of participating. And if, if you notice what happened with the PDP, immediately the left um, government um, even some of them that were vociferous, once they were accused of corruptly enriching themselves or mismanaging funds, the accusation just, they, they, their voices died down. And then the former president also didn't help matters. I expected him to provide a very, you know, leadership, purposeful leadership for the party, but that he didn't do also. And then you found them now looking for, it was obvious also that they didn't, really didn't understand, you know, what political association should be. And so they started looking for any and every and anybody that could provide funds to run the political party. And that was how they led, what led them to Modu Sheriff. And that's where they are still today. Okay.